Hello guys and gals. Today I'm going to make a flight because uh, I have to fly today. It's been about uh, four or five days since I've flown the airplane. I don't like to go over that, over a week for sure, without flying it, weather permitting. And so uh, a lot of guys were, I say a lot of guys, a few guys were asking me to go through a little bit more detail on my power settings. So I'm going to go do that. And <clears throat> that's all the flight of most of the, the the talking will be about power settings of course the other things that I run my mouth about so I guess uh, we'll we'll go over to uh, Tipton which is uh, not far away you know maybe 20 minutes away or something like that 15 minutes something like that and uh, we'll go over at uh, 4,500 feet and uh, on the way back I'll shoot a an ILS approach to runway 15 just to check all my avionics out real good if if there's no bunch of pattern work going on it just depends we'll we'll play that by ear on the way back depends on how busy it is around there because whatever they're using will just fall in with a traffic pattern like that so that'll be it I'll, I'll go through uh, all of my power the best I can I'll give you my CHTs uh, and their temperatures during the climb out today's about 80 uh, about 80 degrees, maybe 82, something like that. So it's a, it's a little warm outside. So we'll see how that goes. Come along with me. Hello again, guys and gals. Welcome aboard. Just flying today because plane needs to fly. So I decided to... Uh, traffic warrior 800 Victor Victor taxi to runway 21 via Charlie Alpha Bravo Downport. I figured we'd go out to... Delta Alpha Bravo, I figured we'd go on out to Tipton, which is just not far from here. It's like a 10 minute flight, something like that. I'm going to go over my power settings, throttle, prop, and mixture. That's all I'm going to concentrate on today because a lot of you guys just want me to do a video on that. So we're going to do that and then when I turn around and come back real quick to... Davenport. Depending on how much traffic, they got a couple of student planes out there. I'd like to load up the ILS for runway 15 and just shoot that. Uh, but we'll see what they're doing. If they stay in the pattern, you know, obviously I won't do that. I'll just join the pattern. So, got 4,500 feet. That's what I'm going to go up to. Almost tell it to go up at indicated airspeed of 95 knots. And initially, we'll go on heading. We'll listen to what runways they're using. Winds are calm today, so it doesn't really matter. Michelle's keeping the baby today. I gotta get back before too long, get back to the house. She gonna bring the baby over. My little cookie nail. She gonna wanna go ride on the golf cart. Just that simple. All right, we'll move forward here a little bit. Both brakes. Left brake. Right break. Not bad today. Outside air temperature right here is eighty five degrees. No wind, so it feels a little hotter than that, but it ain't real bad. Not unpleasant at all.
Here comes a student plane. Instruments, green. Autopilot, configured. Fuel selector, fullest tank. Fuel pump, on. Carburetor heat, cold. Primer, locked. Mixture, set. Propeller, full forward. Inbound for uh, left cross wing for 1-5 down in port. Davenport traffic, 547 Charlie Alpha is about uh, four miles to the north. We'll cross midfield for runway uh, 15, Davenport. Davenport traffic, Warrior 800 Victor Victor, holding short runway 21, Davenport. Davenport traffic, Dakota 1 on a mic, holding short of runway 21, number 2. Damn for full forward seat belts fastened flaps two set trim tabs set neutral controls free and correct. Yeah, for traffic, five, four, seven, Door, Charlie closed Alpha. and uh, latched. To the north, uh, cross the field, runway one five, down for radio check. Five by five. Down for Unicom, five, four, seven, Charlie Alpha, radio check. Five, four, seven, Charlie Alpha, this is one seven, uh, one eight, Papa Fox, uh, I read you out there. Are you good if, if we take off uh, runway 21? We'll be um, exiting downwind going to the north practice area. 54 or 800 Victor Victor. Now, y'all work it out. Gravity, one eight, five, 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 left crosswind, one five, down of course. And I'll be watching for the traffic departing 21. Uh, 547 Charlie Alpha, radio check. 547, we hear you, 800 Victor Victor. Traffic Warrior 800 Victor Victor departing one way two one will be exiting the pattern and the downwind to the north that port. And that port traffic RV one eight Fox Josh turning midfield left downwind one five that port. <clears throat> Watching the departing traffic on two one. Closed and latched. Cockpit fan, off. Brakes, released. Heading bog, set. Set. Put the spurs to this mule. Checklist complete. Put the spurs to this mule. I like that business. Oh, yep. Got a couple of planes making an approach to the other runway down Denver there. Traffic RV 1A, Papa Fox Trot. Turn left base, 1 5, Davenport. They're going to have a little bit of a tailwind. Not much. That's a long runway. Denver traffic, we're 800 Victor Victor, upwind, runway 21, Davenport. Alright, 0 Victor Victor, I got you in sight. Are you staying in the pattern? Uh, we'll be departing uh, downwind to the north, uh, 800 Victor Victor. 
Yeah. Devil traffic, Harvey, one eight five 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 final one five Davenport. I'll hold sure to do one. All right, Davenport, traffic seven Charlie Alpha doing a left three sixty a uh, mile east uh, of the, uh, west of the field. I've got the traffic in the three sixty eight zero zero Victor Victor. And then for traffic, every one of the Fox Trots going to cross 2 1 on 1 5. I'll depart the pattern on Charlie. Uh, excuse me, depart, depart the runway on Charlie. Airport traffic, quarter 800 Victor Victor, cross 1 runway 2 1, Stanford. Airport traffic, RV-18, Papa Fox right now, clear of all runways. Texas, yeah. Hello? I don't hear nobody else. Airport traffic, Dakota, one out of Mike, taking runway 2-1, departure to the northwest, Davenport. Davenport traffic, we're... 3,900 feet down remaining. Runway 2-1, we'll be departing to the north mount here, Lady Davenport. on, fuel pump's on, air is clear, pretty much, runway's clear, we'll go straight out before we make a turn out to the west, they got another couple of planes out there. All right, I'm going to come in with power about 15, 1600 now, I'm going to go full rich, now we're gone. Ease that throttle in. Airspeed indicators coming alive. These bees are all in the green. Time to fly. Stamport traffic, we're 800 Victor Victor, departing the pattern to the north, Stamport. All right, I'm in a standard rate climb. We don't have to worry about no gear. The Alpha is uh, one mile to the west. We'll cross the until something you want, Stamport. EGTs are looking good. Now I'm going to come off that prop. I'm at 1,000 feet. Come up to about 2200, that's what I climb at. And Dakota, one night in flank, uh, I got you in sight there on the upwind uh, for 2 1. We're going to cross the field for runway uh, 2 1. Okay, where are you at now? I can't find you. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm just behind you. Are you going to make left traffic or are you going to turn out to the right? No, I'm going to turn out to the right and go towards tip pin and then I'll be back. All right, I got you inside. Two o'clock, one mile, on right 200 feet above. Oh, okay, I got you. All right. Landing lights off. Let's go on over to Quad Cities. Quad says approach Dakota 69 or mile. Dakota 69 or mile, Quad say approach. Good morning. Good morning, just off of Davenport. Leveling out at, uh, well, now I'm climbing. 2.4 now climbing, 4.5. I'm going toward Tipton and uh, then come back to Davenport. Dakota 1 under Mike, squawk 4301. 4301. So 
bomb climbing at uh, 2190. CHT number one, 371, number six, 386. Doing good. Let's go to one Mike, your radar contact, five miles west of Davenport Airport, quad tail yeah. terminator 2996. Nine or six. Coming up on four thousand feet. Approaching 4,500 now. Start leveling off. All right, let everything catch up. A little bumpy up here. Of course, we're in the haze, so it's going to be bumpy. Okay, fuel pump's coming off. Verify fuel pressure stabilization. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to cruise RPM first, come back on the prop to about 2050 to 2100. There we go. Let that catch up for a second. Okay, now I'm going to go Lena P. And there we are, Lena P. Everything is in the green. Coolest CHT is number one, 330 degrees. The hottest one's number six. It 356. Oil temperature is 175. Quad City is the uh, Skyhawk 101 Tango Foxtrot 4.7 descending 3000. We've been clear for the RNAV 13 approach into uh, Tri Township. One Tango Fox Track, Quad City Brook, Quad City Tiller 2996. 9 or 6, and uh, for planning purposes, we were planning a low approach only at uh, Tri Township and then requesting alternate missed instructions for the ILS 3 and the Clinton. Uh, one Tango Fox Track on the mist, uh, fly heading 220, and uh, maintain 3000 to set you up for the uh, ILS 3 button. Alright, 4500 okay, feet. 220 and uh, 3000. Yeah, we were also planning one lap in the uh, published hold over Conant, so... Uh, uh, burning uh, 11 point five yeah, gallons per so hour, do the published miss 25 and then, inches uh, of manifold pressure, uh, 2040 uh, on the RPM. Plan. Oh no, sorry, I, I can see how that's confusing. Uh, we were planning a hold over Conant uh, right now, uh, before the straight in RNAV-13, and then we'll still plan on the alternate missed instructions uh, following the approach. Uh, one take a foxtrot, I understand you now. Uh, we execute the uh, holding pattern in lieu of and uh, cleared for the uh, UR-13 approach. Correction, uh, the RNAV-13 approach and then the missed approach would be 220, maintain 3000. Okay, clear for the approach and then uh, 220 heading and 3000 on the miss. One take a foxtrot. Quad City's approach, good morning, November 25, Mike Hill, 7000 is the 
Denver, 25 Mike Echo, Koala City uh, approach. You can expect visual approach of a lawyer for shortly. Expect visual by Mike Echo. Go to 100 Mike Contact, Cedar Rapids approach, 119.7, talk to you a bit. 119.7, 100 Mike, see ya. Cedar Rapids approach, Dakota 690, 100 Mike, 4,500. Dakota 690, 100 Mike, Cedar Rapids approach, good morning, altimeter 29 or 7. Nine or seven, good morning. I'll go ahead and switch fuel tanks now since I'm doing a short flight, kind of split it up a little bit. Verify fuel fresh stabilization, yep. All right. And Dakota 100, Mike, just a quick stop for you at uh, Tipton this morning. I'm just going to make a circle around Tipton, drop down to 3.5, and then go back to Davenport for 100, Mike. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I saw Quad Cities put you in for that. I didn't know if you were going to advise or not. I was just going to have you keep on that squawk if you were. One out of my recall. Beautiful day to fly. That's affirmative. So, wind off to the right, seven knots, not much of a wind up here. This power setting. I'm getting 140, 139 knots over the ground. That's pretty good.
Dakota 1 item. Uh, appears to be traffic just off of Tipton Airport, uh, maneuvering northwestbound at the moment. Uh, altitude indicates 1,400 and climbing. Okay, I got him on PCAS. I'm going to go ahead and make my turn now. And uh, I'm gonna, when I'm clear of that traffic, I'll start my descent down 3,500 and go back to that port. 100 Mike, credit. Central aircraft, Cedar Rapids information, Juliet, current, altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. All right, we'll tell her to go on down, back down to 3,500 now. We'll do a vertical speed of 300 feet a minute. Departure low, Blue Street 5410 is climbing out of uh, Cedar Rapids 2.5, 5,250 heading. Blue Street 5410, Cedar Rapids departure. Good morning, radar contact. Climb and maintain 10,000. Turn left direct to Iowa City. 10,000 direct to Iowa City, 5410. Dakota 100, Mike, are you, uh, were you on the way back to Davenport now? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Descending down to 3.5 on the way back to Davenport for 100, Mike. 100, Mike. Roger, contact Quad City Approach 125.95. Have a good day. 25.95, 100, Mike. See ya. November 9 or 8, Tango Lima. Citizens approach Dakota 6901 on a mic. 4000 descending at 3.5. Dakota 6901 on a mic. Quad City approach. Quad City Super 296. 96. Oh, that's some bumps. Back one, take a fire truck. Change advisor frequency to approve report on the mess. Change your advisory and we'll report one go mess. One, take a fire truck. I'll speed her on up to 500 feet a minute descent. Skyhawk 101, Tango Fox, right, change advisory frequency is approved. Report on the miss. Change to advisory and then we'll report on the miss. One Tango Fox, right. Port Iowa. Automated weather observation. 1555 five, five, Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility missing. The sky condition. All right, well, that brand new uh, ATIS there. It says still calm. We'll listen and see what they're doing. I think I'll probably. Got four traffic aircraft, 72243. Miles to the northwest, inbound 15. I like them eyes. I'm going to do that too. So I'm going to load approach. I like 15. I do see another student out there too, so we'll be mindful of that. Got that loaded up. We ain't far now, so we'll go on down. I think you go ahead and be on set. Five Mike, I go clear visual approach from way two seven. Contact tower one one nine point four. This is visual two seven and going to tower five Mike. Up 
Delta to report his mission uniform is now current one call, Delta 2996. Yeah, you notice I came off the manifold pressure back there. Usually I don't do that, I just push the nose over, but it's so doggone bumpy. I wanted to slow my airspeed down while I'm coming down. We're not uh, anywhere near having to be near maneuvering speed. It's just more comfortable for me. I didn't feel like doing all that. Five seven nine November Charlie Quan City departure radar contact climb maintain one zero ten thousand. Turn left direct dirt. Airlines traffic Skyhawk one sixty two by five shot four to the east. Inbound runway two. Going to make a right teardrop left downwind. At that point, traffic Skyhawk one sixty two four three three mile final one five. That point. All right, I've activated the approach. Went to approach on the autopilot. Five and a half minutes away, 12 miles. November Charlie contact Chicago Center 135.6. See, I hadn't hardly came in with a mixture at all. I did once back there, just a fairly little bit, because that's all I need. Has a six picture golf contact Chicago Center one two three point seven five. Twenty three seventy five six picture golf. Oh, I got some bugs on this windscreen. I need to get off. Dakota one under Mike one target in the vicinity of the Davenport Airport. Radar services terminate. Squawk via fire free exchange. Good day. One under Mike. See ya. collision lights back on. Bamport traffic, Dakota 1 on a mic, 2,000 feet, 8 miles to the west, straight in for a 1-5 Bamport. Five miles, I got the field in sight, got the runway in sight. I think that helicopter is just about fixing to touch down. We'll listen for that guy. Airport traffic, helicopter 72243, taking off 15, turning traffic pattern. That would be a right traffic airport. All right, six miles now. Downport traffic to go to one on a mic, 2,000 feet, six miles to the west, straight in 1-5, Davenport. All right, landing lights coming on. I got uh, 18 inches of manifold pressure, 17 and a half. That's giving me my speed that I want to be at for the approach. Everything is loaded up. She's headed to the three-mile final approach fix. And the glide path is in white, so it's queued up and ready to go. I'm going to come off a little bit more because I want 90 knots. So I'm going to come off to about 14 and a half, see what that gives me. All right. Gas is on the proper tank, fuel pump's coming on. Undercarriage is down and bolted, mixture is set, prop we get in a minute, seat belts buckled. 
There's my 90 knots. So I can come in with a little bit of the manifold pressure back. I'll put about 15 and a half back in it. Glad path is grabbing. Davenport traffic, Dakota, one nine a mic. Four mile final, one five, Davenport. All right, all for more manifold pressure. Davenport traffic, Kirk, up there, 72243, and I extend a right down one one five, the number two in the pattern. And helicopter say altitude? 1,500. Okay, I got you in sight. All right, props going full, slowly. We're on final approach right now. A little fast. All right, again, gas is on the proper tank. Fuel pump is on, undercarriage is down and bolted. Mixture is set, prop is full, seatbelts buckled. Twelve o'clock, one mile, one hundred feet above. That's the helicopter and I do have him in sight. Davenport traffic to go to one out of my two mile final one five Davenport. Five hundred. All right, there we go. Turning right base from one five number two. Ninety knots. Life is good. I'll take it from here. Autopilot disconnect. Seventy knots. Going to do a no flap landing because I haven't practiced that in a while. So I just decided to put one click in because I don't want to eat all the runway up. we got traffic trying to come in, so it's good to do that because I like doing different settings on flaps and whatnot because just it's a different feel, and it's good to do that. Stepport traffic, Kirk, country, 72243, one mile final, one five, Stepport. All right, landing light is off, fuel pump is off. Flaps up. Here comes the helicopter. I do miss that sometimes for sure. Downport traffic to go to one out of my clear by all runways, Downport. Davenport traffic to go to one out of my taxi from Rev to the T's, Davenport.
Bravo traffic, our copter 72243, transitioning from Bravo 1 to the guard ramp. Stop for Thank y'all for coming along with me today, guys and gals. Didn't really have much to do today, but I hadn't flown the airplane in about four or five days, I think. I don't like going over about five or six days, you know. You got to do that enough when the weather won't let you fly. So when it's decent flying weather, I like to keep her lubed up. So that's the best thing in the world for these planes. The worst thing you can do is just let them sit. So there we go, I'm back at the hangar. I'll turn everything off and uh, dump my data from the 900 uh, engine monitor to my thumb drive, send it off to Savvy for analyzation. And I'm going back home now to see my granddaughter. Thank you all for coming along with me. See ya.